What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to kind of walk you through some um, some a, a, a simple example on why it is so important, you guys, to start running paid ads. As you're building your business, I know a lot of you guys that are getting this video are, are realtors. A lot of you guys are small business owners and really trying to crack the code of social media marketing. Um if you're new to my channel, I've been I've been running Facebook ads. I've been helping small business owners and realtors since 2017 really understand the basics of, of social media marketing and 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 branding. And when it comes to social media and it comes to when it comes to organic posting, I'm here to tell you organic, especially on the Facebook platform, is dead. So if you guys are still posting on your Facebook business page and just putting out posts daily, thinking that you're uh, that you're that you're targeting your audience or or even attracting your audience. I'm going to show you right now as I'm on a training call with my buddy Todd, I'm going to simply show you why it's it, it that, that's not that's not marketing anymore. So as we're moving into 2023 and and beyond, you guys want to start learning how to run run Facebook ads, Instagram ads, pick your platform. It could be LinkedIn, it could be TikTok, Twitter, whatever. Find your favorite platform and learn how to run a Facebook ad because as I'm just diving in with Todd here and we're looking at different Facebook pages and, and really looking at different strategies and, and really picking up picking apart our, our business plan for the next few months, we're coming across pages where it's just it's, it's proof where organic posting is dead. So if you guys are trying to reach an audience, if you're trying to go out there and build your business, I'm here to tell you right now, learn how to run an ad. Let me show you a quick example on, on what's going on and why it's such it's such a waste of time. Now, shout out to Kimberly. Kimberly right here. Um, let me let me pull this part up. Um, okay, here we go. This is a, a, a top producing real estate agent in the the state of Texas. And shout out to Kimberly. This 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 gal is crushing it offline. But online i'm here to kind of just show you some some proof that there's not much going on so as one really scales up their facebook business page right as as one really takes up their like count and they, and they really start to get a, a bunch of people following following them over here here's the problem with organic posting in my professional opinion and this is if you're a local business owner, you guys, if you're a local business owner, which most realtors are right, most realtors are looking to farm a few zip codes, they're, they're doing business in, in, in one city, for example, if you're a local business owner, think about it right now, you're a local landscaper, you're a local dentist, a local plumber, um, a local anything dry cleaner, local restaurant, local coffee shop, if your ideal client or customer is down the street, Organic posting is not going to do anything for you, and even at a, at, a, at with a page like this with with almost a thousand likes, right, eight fifty nine. That's a, a decent amount of people who like her page. Here's the problem with 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 what's going on with the like count. Kimberly is a local business owner. Her ideal client is in Plano. Texas, right? Her ideal listing, her ideal buyer is in that area. Now, although although she could probably help anybody relocate, she can help anyone across the country for sure, but her ideal client is down the street. So as we come over here and we get a bunch of people to like the business page, what ends up happening is the majority of those people who like the page don't live in her area. They don't even live in her state. And that's a fact. So as you scale up your friend count on any platform, as you scale up your like count on Facebook, if you're a local business owner, the majority of those people don't live in your state. That's problem number one. Here's problem number two. And, and again, it's on any platform. So look at your Instagram account. Those of you that have thousands of people who follow you on Instagram, if you're a local business owner, do those people live in your backyard? Not at all. Right. You got you got hundreds and let's say you got thousands of connections on LinkedIn. You guys are professional. You're out there building your LinkedIn business or, or profile, I should say. And you're trying to build a business over there. You have all these connections on LinkedIn. You're a local business owner. How many people live in your backyard? Not many. And that's the problem with anyone. A lot of a lot of people are all fired up about TikTok in the past couple of years. People can really scale their friend, their followers on TikTok. If you're a local business owner, do any of these people live in your backyard? None of them, right? And so in this case, 859, majority of them don't live in that area. But here's also my point. And here's problem number two. Organic is not the way to go. So as she goes out there and really puts out good content, right? 20 hours ago, she's posting good stuff, right? No engagement. This was a day ago, talking about tax preparation, right? No engagement. A couple of days ago, she's putting out good information, right? Good information, no engagement. 
And this is some, someone with 800 plus likes, 99% of real estate agents and even small business owners, when you go to their business page, they have a hundred likes. So it's like, man, if you're in that position, 100, 200, 300, 400 likes, and you're posting all day, what does your engagement look like? With Kimberly, she's she's way higher than most. And look at the engagement as far as the like count and look at the engagement. There's absolutely zero engagement, you guys, zero engagement. So again, you could be posting on any platform and this is what's going on organically. So if you're local, this is not the way to do it in 2023, you guys. I highly, highly recommend to learn again, whatever platform, pick your platform, learn how to run an ad and target your backyard because this is good stuff that everyone's putting out. Everyone has the right intention. Everyone has the great has great content. It's just not reaching anybody. That's the problem. And so as I'm on, on a training call here with Todd, I'm like, Todd, here's what, here's basic stuff that we can start talking about is really breaking down the, 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 the simplicity of, Hey, we need to start teaching these people how to run an ad. We need to start teaching them how to get, how to get the attention of their local audience. Because if Kimberly goes on for another two years doing this, it's going to be a complete waste of time. And, and, and that's what we wanted to show you here today. You guys is that if you're trying to reach your local audience, run an ad, take them to a landing page where you can capture the lead. And this is th this brings me to another another thing that I'm seeing here. Not only is all this all all these posts not doing one single thing for her at all, but as she posts links, better home better betterhomeowners.com. As she posts links, articles to whatever content she may be promoting, as I click Here's the next problem. So here's, I guess, I guess, you know, the third thing we could we could probably talk about. Number one was was simply the like count, right? You got it, you got it, you got it, you got to make sure that these people that like the page live in the area, which majority of those don't. Number two was the post. As you're posting organically, it's not gonna do anything for you. Number three, as I click on your guys' link, 100 percent Now, let me let me talk to the realtor real quick. 100% of realtors, and I've seen tens of thousands of posts, tens of thousands of posts um, from real estate agents alone on Facebook specifically, 100% of you guys will take me to a website when you should be taking me to a web page. And there's a big difference. So in this case, as she goes out there and markets her business, and she's fired up about all this great content that she's putting out. The third problem is the fact that as I click, she's taking me to a website where there's a ton of different information and there's absolutely nowhere to capture the lead. Now, right here, I can click on contact me, but that wasn't the main, main, main thing of the page. It was, I had to search and I had, I, I see it here, but after I come here and I'm clicking on info guides, I'm clicking on financial apps, I'm clicking on seller guides, I'm clicking on buyer guides, I'm clicking on home. There's too much distraction, and that's the problem. In in the real estate space, you got in the real estate space, you guys have fancy, fancy websites, but they're not doing squat for you. You're not capturing leads from it. That's a fact. And 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 as you look at your fancy website, again, are you capturing leads from it? Not at all. These websites are 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 literally a thing of the past. You want to be taking people to a landing page where you can capture the lead. So in her case, and, and before I show you a, a simple landing page, let me let me let me let me finish with this. As she continues to build her business, right? As she continues to really go out there and share share content, because God knows Kimberly is knowledgeable. She's super credible. Shout out to Kim. She is absolutely crushing it. But I'm just I'm just saying the content that that. And I'm not here to pick on Kimberly, but the and because this is what everyone's doing. But the content she's putting out, it's not reaching anybody. That's the problem. So she has the right intention. She has the credibility. She has all the knowledge in the freaking world. But the content that she's putting out on social media is not reaching anybody. So, so in this case, as she's taking me to her website, again, not only is it too informative, that's the problem with your guys' fancy websites. They're too fancy. They're too informative. There's too much going on. And that's the distraction. That's why there's no lead capture. There's too much going on. And before you know it, after 15 seconds, the person bounces, they leave the page and there was never information ever collected. So not only is, is, is this the problem is she's taking me to a fancy website thinking that, it, that it's giving value and, and it's actually not. Um, but here's what's also going on is that as she takes me. So again, 
She's grinding. She's posting. She's trying to build her audience. She's trying to build her brand. She's trying to build her business. But as she posts these types of links, she's taking me to this page where there's no Facebook pixel. So she's not tracking anybody who's li- who, who's visiting here. The link, this is not her .com. So it's not integrated with Facebook. Therefore, she's not able to create a custom audience to track those who actually landed here. And why would that be beneficial? Why would that be important? Because as I land here, she could have put me in an audience and showed me another ad. Right now, she's not running ads. I'm showing you organic post. But if she was, imagine how powerful that would have been. If I land here and I am now in her custom audience, Facebook allows you to categorize and segment these people and put them in buckets, put them in AKA Facebook custom audiences. So you can then use and leverage to retarget with future ads, right? So in this case, this is not her.com. This is betterhomes.com, right? It's her broker. It's her website. So she's not able to integrate that domain because she does not own that domain. Um, and she, so, so, so in that case, she's not able to set up the pixel and in, in, install the pixel and she's not able to set up the link as a custom audience. And that's where she's dropping the ball. So this is 100% you guys of, of realtors, for example. Um, and I'm willing to bet it's even, it's even, I don't want to say 100% of small business owners, because a lot of you guys have, have landing pages and websites, but, but these are basics that need to be in place. So as you really move forward in 2023 and you start marketing your business even more, hopefully you guys step it up in 2023. Content is everything. Building our brand and building a personal brand over here is everything. These are basics that need to be in place. So back to the beginning, the likes that are on your guys's page the majority of these people don't live in your area. Number one, organic posting is dead. It's not going to give you any engagement. It's not going to build your business whatsoever. Number three, as you're posting these links, make sure you're taking me to a landing page. And here's 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 one thing that I can really really let, let me let me let me end it here and let me let me kind of just put the icing on the cake. Here here's here's a tip. And, and 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 this is this could be for real actually this could be for any of you guys in any business but but let me talk real estate real quick as as you can see here as you can clearly see here here's a post about as inventory in the DFW marketplace um continues to to rise that's one post over here she's talking taxes over here she's talking um 30 years or so um do you do you, do you currently do you do you current that doesn't even make sense. Do you do you current have FHA, VA, or USA mortgage on your home? I don't, that doesn't even make sense, the damn freaking image there. But but here she's talking about VA, FHA, and USDA mortgages. Down here, she's talking about arm rates, fixed fixed arm. Um, over here, she's just saying thank you, uh, happy Thanksgiving, uh, more interest rates, buying, buying, home buying, um, inventory. So here's my point. <laughs> See, call me. This is your organic post. Call me. Dude, shout out to Kim, but no one's calling you off that post, right? No one's calling you. But here's my point. Here's here's the icing on the cake. As you really go out there and start to post, right? Here's what I highly recommend. Focus in on one topic. So if you're if you're if you are a realtor, focus in on one topic. Who's the avatar? Who is your avatar? And this applies for any business owner, really. When it comes to marketing, you have to niche down. Who is your avatar? Who is the actual person you're speaking to? Is it the homeowner or is it the buyer? Pick one, right? As Kimberly puts out great content, it's all great stuff, but she's all over the place with her content. And 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 and, and it's not talking to one specific person. That's what you want to do. That's marketing. Right, that is marketing when you can narrow in and talk to one person. And in real estate, what I've noticed over the years, following thousands of real estate agents, is that you guys are so knowledgeable, and there's so much to talk about in the real estate space. Where a lot of you guys tend to use that as your content, thinking that you're bringing value, when really you're kind of confusing everybody. One day you're talking about this, one day you're talking about that, one day you're talking about this, one day you're talking about that. It's like you're 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 trying to attract everybody, and that's not marketing. Attract one person, go after one person. Now, God knows you're the jack of all trades and you can help everybody for sure. But as far as the marketing, narrow it in. As far as social media, narrow it in. 
So as I go to her page, for example, she has buyer guides, seller guides, info guides, financial apps, service providers. It's like, dude, focus in on one thing. So in her case, if she was a listing agent, as she posts content from this point on, my biggest recommendation is only talk to the homeowner. Market the hell out of that seller guide and that seller guide only, right? Now, as people reach out to you, for sure, as you get someone on the line, for sure, you can help anybody with anything, for sure. But the marketing attracted the seller, right? I marketed the seller guide. That's how I captured the lead. So I, what I'd be doing is I'd just be putting out content, educating the homeowner on what it takes to sell in today's market, leading them to downloading my seller guide. And that should be all the post. So whatever your product or service is, focus in on just that and, and, and have some type of call to action, have some type of ethical bribe. And in this case, it's a simple seller guide, a simple PDF. Hey guys, and by the way, I put together a 2023 seller's guide that I love to give you so, for free. So if you click the link below, it'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. So as I continue to just educate people, educate people, call to action, call to action, call to action, seller guide, seller guide, seller guide you'd be capturing more leads than you could possibly handle because now your marketing is focused. Now your avatar is the homeowner and now you have an ethical bribe, something of value you can give away upfront for free in exchange for someone's information. That's the thing. So as people put out posts, there's real, there's really no call to action. And, and as you put out, as you put out all, yeah, see, it looks like in her case, she might be going after the homeowner. I mean, excuse me, the, 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 um, the purchaser, the home buyer, because here she's just talking about all about interest rates. So shout out to Kimberly, if if that is your avatar, the 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 buyer talking about rates and talking about um, different mortgages for sure. That's exactly what you want to be doing, um, and then and then driving people to the buyer guide page. In that case, driving people to this page to get people to opt in. So <laughs> the the whole point of this video, you guys, is to really just kind of show you what. What you got, what the market is doing, and this is this is what everyone's doing by the thousands. There's no real call to action. There's no real targeting of one specific person. Um, and 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 when you're bringing people to these fancy websites, there's no tracking. And and so I just truly believe my professional professional opinion is that all this is literally a waste of time. And, and, and again, shout out to Kimberly. She's super successful offline, but as we move our business to social media, this is just not how you, not, not, not how you want to do it. The content is there. The intention is there. Everything is there, but the targeting start running ads, start targeting your local area, Kimberly, driving them to a page that you can actually track your Facebook pixel should be on this page. This link should be integrated. This domain should be owned by you. And that should be set up as a custom audience. Okay, so so step up your game, you guys, in 2023. And if you guys need any help with any of this, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel. Reach out, send me a comment below if you need if you want to jump on a call like this, and I'd love to help you. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. My name is David. I'm out here in San Diego, and I've been dropping content like this since 2017, teaching the basics of social media marketing and Facebook advertising. So if you're new, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Step up your marketing in 2023, or you will be left behind. Talk to you guys soon.